Hey, Nick here. Uh, today we're gonna look at, uh, we're just about to put the dash into this car. So I put the, I installed the wiring, the dash loom, what I call the dash loom, to the back of the dashboard. And I wanted to show you how that is installed and all the original parts to install it with. So starting over here on the passenger side, first of all, the script on the dash, these are the clips that hold them in, just to give you an idea of what they look like. That's for the script on the face of the dash. Anyway, the wiring loom is held in on the passenger side with these, and those are these plastic retainers, and then the nuts and the bolt are these. I don't know what they call them, some kind of a nut plate. That's what they look like. And then the wiring loom comes this way and uh, this goes down to the ignition switch, which is here. This is where the ignition switch is plugged into. It goes through this hole, and there's these wire loom tie downs here that hold it here and here. It's also grounded here, but you can't see the screw. Doesn't matter. It's screwed to the dash here, this ground wire, and I use a star washer on it. And then up here, this is, uh, some cars have the courtesy package, the low fuel door jar, door locks. Those go up here and through uh, and attach to the clock tower here, what I call the clock tower. That's where the clock is and the controls for the vents and the wipers. Anyway, this car, the only thing this car is gonna have is a flasher. So it has the flasher light and the switch. This is a 66, so it doesn't have the courtesy package but it does have flashers. These are the wires for the squirter. I got a new switch for it. These are the wires for the clock. And these are the wires for the lights for the wiper controls and the vent controls. Now these lights use a special bulb. They use these, kind of a long, narrow bulb. So those bulbs, those are 1891 bulbs that go in here. These are your dome light wires uh, under the clock tower. There's a switch for the map light and dome lights. That's these. Then it comes up here. <coughs> excuse me. Um, the wiring loom is attached to the back of the speedometer with these plastic wire loom tie down clips. Those look like these. Okay, uses four of them. Here's your CVR, constant voltage regulator. Now I'm using a used one. I would rather use a used one than a new one. I don't like the new ones. I've had a lot of issues with them. So I find good used ones. Now obviously I have to test this before I close everything up because I really, right now, I don't know if it works or not, but I'll test it. If it doesn't work, I'll change it with another one. Uh, so that's, this all comes along here and then comes down headlight switch wires and light, and then this plugs into the main loom. Now, here, Craig, hold that. Now I'm gonna put in the bulbs. Now you've got six bulbs they're all blue with a red stripe blue with a red stripe means uh dash lights and dome lights and courtesy lights they're all blue with a white stripe so all of these type of bulbs all these go along the top now this one is unique i don't know why they did that i don't know why this one's unique but this one goes to the far left And then what I do is I get a long screwdriver and I pop that in there. Which is not easy. There we go. Go on both sides. See, I can see it's not attached on this side. There we go. Go on both sides, push it in on both sides. Okay, and then these also kind of fall into place. They kind of, you can see how they're curved. They kind of fall into place. Now, it doesn't matter if it, this one goes in this hole or that hole, but try to put them where they went, if you can.
but they fall right into place mostly, most of the time. Whoops. Okay, here's the last one right there. Yeah, this thing's moving. Now it's important that you check everything three times, five times, because once you get the dash in, there's no going back unless you want to pull it all out again. So that's the problem. So you gotta really make sure you triple and quadruple check everything. So you got your six top bulbs in. They're all, they all look flat against the metal. Okay, now we're gonna put in the gauge. And now you can see that these fall right where the gauges are. This one goes here, this one goes there, this one goes there, and this one goes here. They all fall into place. Now I also put new bulbs in here. I think these are 1895s. Yeah, these are 1895s here. So these go in basically the same way. Try to feed them through so they're not binding on the gauge wires. Not like that. Let's try it this way. Same thing with these. You gotta push them in both sides. Make sure they're in. Okay. That looks okay. Pop into place, make sure it go on both sides, make sure it's in there. Take a look at it, make sure it's flat. Okay, wires are good. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so you're thinking, okay, what about the gauges? The gauges are blade connectors like that. See, there's a blade in there. Each gauge has three of the gauges, not the amp meter. They have these blades on the back and this goes on the blade. They're easy to plug in. Again, the wire should fall right into, basically right into place. And they just pop on. Now, as far as the amp meter is concerned in 60, 66 is unique. It's the only one that has these slip-on plugs like that. 64 and 5 do not have these. 64 and 5, they're screwed on. So they have an eyelet like this. They have an eyelet like that. And it screws onto the stud on 64 and 5. But 66 has these. So these just slide on like that. That's it. <clears throat> Now, you could, the, your next question probably is, what happens if you reverse those? You know, I, I really don't know the answer to that. I have never had a problem with it. I'm sure that there's been a situation where sometime in the past I might have plugged them in backwards, but I've never had an issue with it. I never had the amp meter work backwards or a gauge work backwards. So I don't think it, I don't think it matters. I could be wrong, but again, I never had an issue with it. Headlight bulb, 1895. Pop that in, okay, good. Uh, the ignition switch bulb is an 1895. Do that later. So that's it. So now everything is attached. The dash loom is now all attached. I don't have the headlight switch in, but all that stuff is all attached. Now we're gonna put this in We'll put the defroster duct tubes on when we put it in, plug everything in, and that'll be it, okay? Thank you.
on the shelf. Okay, when installing the dash, as you can see in the video, you want to put the legs of the dash board, the legs are under here, you want to put them on these brackets. So, for example, here's the gauges, here's the left side of the dash, and going in, you can see this bracket here. Sorry. And the dash, the dash is laying on this bracket. This bracket was in before the dash was put in. So you want to put these legs on these brackets, both sides. There's one on the right side as well. You want to put those onto these brackets, lay them, lay them onto the bracket, and then you tilt the dash up and in as they're, as it's sitting on these brackets. Just stay here and hold this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Craig, will you just stay here and hold it? I'll just stay here and hold the stash. Okay, good idea. <laughs> this is the correct bolt. 7 sixteenths, head, quarter 20. All right, when putting in the dash, once you've got them on those brackets, right there, and right there, see? Let me get a close up of that. Once you got the dash on top of those brackets, and once you push it in, after you've connected the defroster ducts, see, see where the defroster duct is connected right there? See, you can see it's connected to the plenum there, and then it goes over to the duct there. Let me see if I can get a pointer. Right here, see? Stop focusing. Yeah, see right there. Okay? Once you get both sides, here's the driver's side. I don't know, you can barely see that. Okay, they're both in. Once you get those in, then you wanna do these nuts here, these bolts, I mean, you want to do these first. This is the inner brackets. Okay, inner dash brackets. And then there's two from the outside. So you go, you do these first. This is a 7 16 set. These are quarter 20. And also make sure that the threads are good before you put go through all this trouble. Make sure that your nut plates are good. Now this, the nut plates are in the body here. On the other ones, the nut plates are in the bracket and the bolt, the quarter 20 bolt goes through the firewall right here. See, one on each side. And the nut plate is in the bracket. Make sure they're okay. Another thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure 
that the rubber seal right there mates up properly with the edge of the dash right there. Now, mine sealed okay, mine made it up okay, but it's it, I, in doing these for all these years, the dashboard has a tendency to sit low here and you have to push it up and in or forward. You have to push it up and push it forward to get it to seat on this windshield seal in there. See, there's the seal, there's the edge of the dash. So while you're doing all that, make sure that all of that is seated properly. And of course, I installed the speaker grill, the, the grill here before I put the dash in. Because you see there's screws, it'll be hard to do once it's in, if the windshield is in. Okay? Once you get the dash in, then you want to plug your wires in. So this is the passenger side, obviously. So you go underneath. And you can see the plug there. You got to plug all that crap in. The dash loom, which you saw on the back of the dash attached to the back of the dash plugs into what I call the fuse box loom. So that all goes to the fuse box. See all those wires go to the fuse box and then all connect here. So connect those. And then on the driver's side, you have the wires on the driver's side that you need to connect. The plug on five and six, this plug here needs to be connected. And, uh, and then I installed the headlight switch. I also bought one of those aftermarket uh, fender turn signal relays, which works well. Okay, so you got all your wiring hooked up under here then. And remember, this is a critical area. I'm gonna mention this again. This is all the critical area under here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Stop. Okay. Wires get stuck under here. It's real common. So make sure that you got no wires stuck where this bolts up. Make sure everything's tidy. Get a light, look at everything. I've already run the car. I've worked everything, run everything. Everything seems to be working well. Okay, 